in five, ten years down the road, will the city be left without the $20 million and without the parking revenue? And at that point, will it necessitate raising taxes to make up for the lost revenue? In addition, if, are there any safeguards in place to keep whatever entity that buys the parking from substantially raising it? Excellent question. Just the second one first. In the RFQ, we put what the expected rate increases, both for meters and garages, were baked in there. Because just as you're right on it, you know, if they could raise rates a whole lot, they could promise us a lot of money. So we wanted to know, given this is the rate of increase that the mayor, city council, and the parking authority could foresee, now what's the value? So that was why the the twenty million dollar offers came in on that. On the second point, um, and you know, our authority member you know, has experience on the municipal finance side. When this authority, just like the park authority or any city, issues tax exempt bonds and they go through a rating process, the very issues that you're talking about, improvements, maybe not to the intermodal, but maybe we need to repave lot six, you know, all those sorts of issues, that's all part of the, the financial projections and the capital program that is built into this. Your question would be more pertinent if we were taking the money to pay salaries, if you know what I mean, you know, using it for operating expenses and not investing it all in capital improvements. But to be honest, the, the mayor has actually said that the money is going to be used for infrastructure, public safety, and it's only used for that once the needs of the authority, this new authority, are provided. I'd like to provide a counter opinion to that and answer your question more directly. First of all, I have maintained, contrary to what Mr. Wolster has said, that we should disqualify four of the six people. The two, the two bidders that came in with a proposal that was entirely dissimilar from what we requested, uh, and which he's talking about in a public-public partnership about which this authority knows absolutely nothing because it's never been discussed, uh, was, was engendered by emails that went back and forth to Mr. Wallstetter who identified that people could come in and give proposals different than what we had asked for. I questioned his authority to do that, and the authority never permitted. So that's number one. Number two, the answer to your question is no. There is no provision for how the money will be spent. There can be all of the rhetoric in the world. Your, your question is an excellent one. There is no provision for how the money will be spent, when it will be spent, by whose authority it will be spent. That would occur only in the event that we go for, the, the authority decides to go forward there would have to be a, a, a provision by the city which identified how it intended for that to be done. That has not been done today. I hope that answers your question. It would have to be done for the bonds to be tax free. In other words, you'd have it's to have not, that not It's not on the proposal. Correct. I, I have one thing that I, I think was not mentioned here that there is a, that you asked about future costs, that if, you know, the city, not getting revenue. Well, in the overview, that there's a concessionaire will pay a parking tax of $100 annually. They will pay $1 per space plus 8%. So that the city is going to have a continued revenue on a interest base with rather than a, a fixed rate. Fashion, we do that now. That, that's well, I, but he asked where, what was going to happen, and so I, you know, that's, that's paid now by the parking authority. So the, the, the benefits that we enjoy oh, right now as a city mm -hmm. from the parking authority will be continued. I, I do have... Where he could put parking meters anyway. That's right. It's not in writing that they will never put more parking meters. We got parking meters in front of the old Mercy Hospital and no parking anymore. They're all over the city that aren't being used. <clears throat> well, this, this proposal has in, within the RFQ there was a boundary line, and that's where that's where the concession will be. It, they can't go to Parsons and put it. This is this is from Pennsylvania Avenue to Ross Street and to North Street and River Street. So it's the concession. The, the, the North Street, how far is south? 
how far south I think to Ross Street. Um, pretty much an area where there's, they, they now have parking meters, um, but it can't go out. This this consent this, this RFQ request it doesn't go outside those boundaries. So any concession of it that would, would be made or could be made would be made within those boundaries. So they can't go to the heights or parts. My questions remain regarding the Sunshine Act violation that is part of the RFQ. Uh, if you guys met, and, and uh, Melissa Malinowski, a well-known lawyer who, who works on behalf of the newspaper, stated that you guys did, in fact, violate the Pennsylvania Sunshine Act, um, and you're having these closed-door meetings, my questions regarding those closed-door meetings is who paid the consultants and who paid the attorneys? Was the city billed directly uh, or was the parking authority billed? A as well as for Allen's stay, I'm assuming at, at one of our, our authority members' hotels. Um, no, he didn't stay at either the Ramada yeah, sure. or I the Genetti? You know, at home, uh, my wife had to wake up early, so I didn't feed the dog. Okay, so that answers part of it. As far as tolls and gas to get back to the city of Wilkesbury, was that billed to the authority or the city? Good question. Yeah, the uh, gas, of course, uh, we never bill anybody, but uh, I don't know, if you, I think you were at the meeting on April 26th where the authority said that uh, all the consultants, including me, uh, they wanted a commitment that from that day forward we would cap our, our fees at $10,000. Since that time, you know, our firm has spent $45,000 on this, but we have limited, you know, consistent with that, our cost of $10,000, so that's all on us. So will you then bill the authority if we move to phase two? Is that going to be retroactive billing? Uh, excellent question. We actually have a proposal before the authority that does not, in fact, retroactively bill in any way. It proposes that if the authority were to go forward in the public public partnership, which is what the mayor has requested, then uh, we would be limited to fifteen thousand dollars a month for ourselves and any consultants. Thank you. Uh, I um, in terms of this, this this whole project, you've been paid very well. J.J. Murphy's been paid very well. I assume Mr. Uffberg is being paid. And I would like to know, there were city council members, uh, Wilkes-Barre city council members at the meeting last night. What's, what's been promised to them? What piece of the pie has been promised to them? Because it would seem to me that... Can, can, can I make a suggestion to you? No, can no, a, no, 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 I'd rather you not. Why don't you wait? That question is irrelevant to the question at hand, and that is whether or not the authority. I, I've recommended that the authority consider whether or not it wishes to move forward with the RFQ. Please don't. That's the decision at hand right now, and I don't think that the question of of, of whether anything is promised, and, and I assure you it wasn't. Just, I assure you that the, 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 the city council members. Any promises were made about, about anything. I think that the question at hand, Mr. Chairman, is one that you need to ask the authority to make. It's time for the decision. I'd like, I'd like to make a motion. Right. 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 I just, yeah, it's, yes, sir. 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 Yes, and third, and also as a part of that motion. She thirded. I would also like to. No, 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 it's not yet. It was third. She was. I know, that's why I said half to.
I know. The, the mayor promised to bail him out. Yeah. How about Mr. Murray's room maybe you need to get paid here? All consultants. That's it. Uh, I would like to make a motion because of, uh, I, I saw merit. I attended all uh, of the conferences for the RFQ. Uh, the this back door meetings. Board, this authority spent a lot of money in getting together this, these people to come and offer their expertise opinion. And I, I was impressed. Okay, I'm just an old guy from Wilkesboro. But uh, I was impressed with their presentations and what they had to say about our assets and our values. Uh, that they said that our assets and our values were really worth something to them as being experts in this industry. Um, that I'm new to this board, I have no personal interest, or, and I you know, uh, lay on the sword of my own ignorance of how this has come together. But um, I listen to uh, that we have created the contract to hire this firm, and now we have a problem with the contract that this firm is being, how this firm is being paid. Well, we made the contract. They didn't make the contract, from what I read the paper. Now, we didn't, we made the contract that we're not happy with. They delivered on what they said they would deliver. No, they didn't. Uh, the vote's been made. No, that's not the question. That's, that's the question. The question. Well, we, we have the right to terminate the contract. Well, I'm not, not questioning the right. I'm, I'm, I'm what stating I, to the public that I've spent my time and energy to learn what I have learned. You know what That's his problem. That. Spend our time and money fighting this thing. You know how much we're going to end up paying? Close to 150000 Does that seem right? Who made the contract? Alan did. did. We did. And we were okay. lied to. Well, we, we, we were we, lied to. Oh. I will say that in public. We were lied to. What we were doing. Yes. Yes. If, if we draw up a contract with a, a we have we hire our council to draw up a contract I didn't and then contract. Contract yeah, but anyway, it's over. It's right. Associated with us and them. And we they they told us they told us two things. They told us firstly that Alan told us that initially we would be able to get from his firm all of the information we needed to determine the value of our assets, period. He came in and told us that it was $25 million. Then he came in and told us that it was $20 million. And then two months later came in and said, it was necessary for us to get Kevin to tell us how much it was worth. He also told us that the amount of repairs necessary for the, for the garages would be determined by the bidders. We were then told later we had to hire Desmond for another $60,000, $65,000 to make that determination. That, that is one of the many things that has the authority members have said. So, uh, Jim, you, you're just, you're, you're, you say whatever you want. We negotiated the agreement, and there was a refusal on the part of, of Fox Rothschild to cap the amount. What they said was that was their best view of what the, the estimate of cost of legal fees and cost for consultants would be. So that's what was done, and it has nothing to do with whether or not, it, it, it has nothing to do with how the contract was drawn up. It's a question of the representations that were made and the failure to meet those representations. If I've said something incorrect, I think you're an authority member to advise you. Well, I, I may, since I'm the one who negotiated okay, with yeah. you. Um, and I think the, the point that's missed a little bit is that through this process, what we ended up with is two proposals, at least, and I would say five, that meet the goals of the city that are worth looking at, at least according to the mayor and the city council, maybe not the authority. So the point is that this process, we've learned, I know I've learned, in Pittsburgh, which had a, <laughs> uh, in Pittsburgh. a partisan concession, which is 10 times as big as ours, the bidders paid for the consultant. In ours, 
we found out. They said, we're not going to pay for it. The authority needs to. That was news. We found that. We passed it on the second we heard it. And the result is that with the authority and Tom fighting a tooth and nail and not even willing to spend the time to get on the call with the bidders, which the mayor did from vacation, we found that we had six bidders who were interested in putting in proposals. Maybe this not all the time. Since you've included me in this conversation. Absolutely. My daughter was married. And I, and I found that a bit more important than talking to you and some, and some consultant from uh, wherever the hell it is from. Right. So, <laughs> good for you, Tom. Four days a week. I got one invitation, and it was approximately one half hour before the meeting. And it was, the meeting was at 2 2 15. It was already right. past my lunch, and I got a call a half hour before meeting. I got right. one invitation. Here's the challenge. To one interview. And here's the reason. And I know we send them to the to to we send them to the upward firm, and they don't afford it. To the that was the challenge. So I didn't uh, have your uh, money. We would have left you. I have a motion to pay the bills for the month of June. I have a motion to make. My motion is done. Pardon? I have a motion that I would like to present. Let me do. Response to that we close the yard and pay the bills for the month of June. And in that, I would that we explore the public public. No. 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 We already explored enough. Let me say this. I don't know if it's some in this room, but I compliment the mayor on his desire to enhance the revenues of the city. He's got a job to increase the revenues of the city. So this is what he came to us with and felt that this was worthwhile. The authority has determined it is not worthwhile at this time. So I think we should explore whatever alternatives people have. We'll bring them to the table. The public will be invited to, to, to address them. But for now, this issue is closed. Yes. You could sell the golf course. All right, can I just say one thing? <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen of the public, here's what he enhanced the person that got their car towed. So, and that's what's going to happen. When you go to park at these places, they'll have somebody with a gun to ride. Okay, go ahead. Uh, number three on your list, the others are pretty scary stuff. Uh, number three on your list is a, de is a Desmond bill for $4,064.25. Now, I was authorized by the board, uh, and then we're going to verify this at the, uh, the next meeting, and that was when we first talked to Desmond after the April meeting, April 26th, I believe it was, uh, we were authorized to have a $5,000 what turned out to be a verbal report. Um, and, and that was fine. Um, and in, in asking Desmond what we could do to try to increase the values, um, they said, well, frankly, we have to have somebody on the ground there for at least a day. Uh, and then, and, and we also said, we didn't have a written report in the original $5,000. We wanted a written report. So uh, I talked with the board members, and they said, "Go right ahead and do it." So this is the this is the subsequent bill for the final part of the Desmond report, being the written report, and their two-day visit to the Wolfsburg to get the deal to get the uh, re 
report done. So I want to explain that particular one. Was that in addition to the 5000 we paid? Yeah. So it was 9000 hmm. Okay. Uh, I wasn't aware of that myself. The yeah, second, you'll see on Fox Rothschild bills, there's two separate numbers listed there. Uh, we, and our, this is the back when Alan was talking about on the $10,000. Uh, our invoice, at the April meeting, when we, out, when we authorized, we stopped the, the, the fees going forward to the same $10,000. We paid, Dusty helped me out on this, we paid, uh, we paid that invoice, which was up until, I have it, let's see, just give me a second. Mm -hmm. 426. Yeah. Uh, I have one of those copies. 426. Yeah, those are the copies. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Does he help me out here? So we paid on the, the invoice. The first one that we paid at the April meeting was through April 12th. Uh, 2012, and you approved and paid on the 26th, which was the meeting, $14,058.37. Correct. And at that point in time, um, at that April meeting of uh, the 26th, we stopped just all further so billing with the exception of the $10,000. <coughs> but we also said, that's all it was. I knew it wasn't going to go nowhere. There Big scam for them to suck money out of the parking authority. Mm -hmm. For his buddy JJ to make some bucks because he wasn't working. That's not what was said. What was said was that, because I was the one who struck the deal, and what was said, at least what was represented to our firm, was that you'll pay us up through the date of the 26th, and of course we hadn't put in time sheets for that or whatever, so, which right. is what we followed up with, and then from the 26th onward, it was $10,000. Exactly. Yeah, that's, 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 I'm sorry if that's not what I said, but that's exactly what I meant to say. Um, and so, that was, and then from the 26th forward would be the $10,000. So we were entitled to your work from the date of the last billing. So your last billing was through April 12th was for $14,000. Included in your new bill was backdating of some services that were missed prior to April 12th. Yeah, yeah. I would I would I would just simply say that it's you you say backdating. What it is is it's just simply a matter of when time hits our file that we forward it. So in other words, what it was was it was time that was incurred, in this case it was probably March, that we had not been paid for. So we sent a record well, of that. Except, <laughs> except I, I, I just have a problem. He's got well enough paid. Your, your bill said on the top of the bill, on the invoice dated 4-16-12, it was for professional services rendered through 4-12-12. Sure, absolutely. Okay. And now what was the, the service? Now, there's, there's uh, $19,000 worth of bills that were not included in previous bills that were included in your new bill for, for Create that was or whatever time that you had missed. Correct. What sounds like the school board. Is they're lost if they didn't put them in. Your thousand dollar bill going forward from the 27th. Um, the, the decision to pay the nineteen thousand dollars, nineteen thousand six hundred two dollars like fifty three cents, is a board decision. Certainly not mine. Yes, I'm sir. presenting it to say that's why. Fair enough, and I'll just absolutely, I, I understand okay. the point, and it's a good one. And all yeah, I would say, to check no, I appreciate that. And all I would say is that we spent that time, I don't think anyone's questioning the time entries and what we did, I did, I'm not hearing that. The point was during, that was the period of time that we were finishing the RFQ, getting interest in the market, talking with everything, also finding out whether the authority would move forward, and so that was sort of the time that was in that, and it was late in hitting our system, so it's not, it was time that was billed prior to April 12, and uh, the authority's Thank you. commitment, which we yes, understood be a that you paid for the pre-8 bullshit pre-8 Yes, and that, I said that the first meeting I saw him.
-hmm. He can talk the shit. That, that's a, that makes it hard, I know, for the authorities, so that's a mistake on my part. It seems that that's a mistake on my part. In fact, I think it's all your time. I'm sure. There it is. There's no associates. Absolutely. We're trying to do it as lean and lean as we can. <laughs> <laughs> as mean as we can. Got it. So, having said that, that's the explanation <laughs> on the two bills that uh, are out of the way. It's the other. It's the church and send down and go over and tell them thank you.
You want to know why they were criticized? Because of the thief mayor and his slimy, backstabbing, racketeering deal. That's why they were criticized. And I give Murray a lot of credit and a motion to adjourn. My motion to adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> oh.